Hey, I'm Brian Brown Dewan. Hey, I'm Tom Raw. You're watching the Versus Series brought to you by StarCityGames.com. Hey everyone, we're here for another Versus video. I am Brian Brown Dewan here with Tom Ross. And uh, a couple months ago, CVM moved away to Seattle. And now Tom is filling in. And we're going to be doing Versus videos every week again uh, on the select side of Star City Games and on YouTube uh, like we used to be doing. So uh, be ready for more Versus videos every week again. Uh, sorry for the two-month delay where we didn't really have any. But uh, we're back in action again. And today we're going to be playing Legacy. Uh, this weekend is the SCG Legacy Open in St. Louis, so we are going to be playing uh, two Legacy decks in preparation for that, just to showcase uh, some of the strategies you might run into, or in the case of Tom's deck, you probably won't run into, but maybe if you get paired against Tom himself, you will uh, run into in the St. Louis Legacy Open. So, as for myself, I am playing a, a Shardless Soul Tie strategy uh, that uh, Rudy Brixa got second place at the last uh, SCG Premier IQ with. Uh, there's a couple things about the deck that I dislike, such as basic lands. I don't think you want basics in your uh, Shard of the Soul Tide deck, but other than that, it looked like a pretty uh, generic, solid list. So uh, now that Dig Through Time is banned in Legacy, I think that Shard of the Soul Tide is a deck that's going to come back again because uh, basically it's a, it was one of the most powerful card advantage decks in the format, uh, but the problem with it was that it was getting outclassed by Dig Through Time decks because Dig was just a better card advantage engine than Shardless Agent. So now that Dig's gone, I think that Shardless is back. So uh, definitely expect to see that at a lot of Legacy events. Yeah. Um, Jace Mind Sculptor and Ancestral Vision very much got pushed back because of uh, Dig Through Time and Treasure Cruise. And I think, it, yeah, it is now the time for them. But um, yep. yeah, I think Shardless is just one of the, the very good decks in Legacy. As for my deck, I don't know if it's good or not. <laughs> I played it in Premier RQ in 6-3, which is decent, um, but I've been working on it for the last couple months. Um, it's kind of based on the modern version of 8-Rack that I've been playing a little bit of, too. Um, I think it gets better that now that Dig Through Time is gone. Maybe, hopefully, cards like Young Pyromancer will be smaller, too, in numbers. I don't think that this matchup is particularly good, but if I can log my way through this, I think the deck's pretty well positioned, then. Okay, cool. Well, let's get to the games and uh, see what happens. Yep. All right, we're here for the die roll to see who goes first. Uh, you want to do average roll, closest to seven wins. Okay, average roll it is. Mine's an eight, eight, and yours a six, so we tied for it. Stone average. Yep, Three tied again. <laughs> we're the averagest ever. All right, all right, you win. Out averaged. Yeah, your, yours is a little bit more average than mine. Uh, all right, so you get to choose whether you'd like to play or draw. I know yeah. Tom has been known to take the draw before with Pox decks. I am going to choose to play, even though I'm not extremely sure about it. Uh, with the modern version, I chose to draw about every time. Uh, with this, I'm not so sure. Hmm. So you could just scry, I guess. Maybe I should have draw. drawn. It's been great <laughs> on the draw hand. Right, I'll, I'll try one less card, get my peak on. Would have been perfect. All right. Uh, while he's mulliganing, I'm going to talk about my hand real fast. This hand is a really good hand. Basically, we have protection with this card, um, and we have a nice curve between like these two and this. So... Uh, really, this is just a pretty strong hand. You can't really ask for too much better than this. Uh, you know, if we draw a Deathrite Trauma in on turn one, that'd be great. But other than that, pretty happy with this. I think my deck's pretty redundant and doesn't use the, the scry off the, the mulligan very well. But one thing I hope is that people will scry or just mulligan more in general. Because this deck's just like, this deck's like hands or people with smaller hands, rather. This is third land. Doesn't really do enough, though. Yeah, I think uh, I mean I think your deck Mulligan or Scry is fine though because you have such a high land count that you're gonna probably want to put lands to the bottom a lot. I got this. What's up? All right, so you get to see uh, Baleful Strix, a Shardless, and an Agent of Jace, and then I have a Force and three lands. Can't beat any of these cards. All right, so you can definitely can't take the Force, but you can take any of the other three. All right, the Baleful Strix, I suppose. Okay. Move All right. Off. Going ahead. Bail. He has hit us with a government bailout by taking our baleful strix. All right, we'll draw that. It's not a great draw, but uh, it is what it is. We'll just play on the ground, see and say go. I could have played this, but I don't want to. Uh, I want to save that for a brainstorm if I happen to draw one. There we go. All right, so he's just passing the turn. Uh, so now we can just. 
play, I think just play a Jace here and say go. Uh, if the Jace dies, it dies, but... I'm going uh, to make you discard a card. Alright, well... I think we just have to discard a Force of Will. I wonder if he has another. Alright, thank you. Alright, we'll take it at 18. Yeah, go. Alright, so let's see. Draw a card here, and now... Alright, I'm going to loot with Jace. Start things off. That's a pretty good one. I think I just discard a Polluted Delta. Now, I have a lot of options here. What I want to do... I don't want to play uh, Shardless Agent yet, because uh, the issue I have with sh playing Shardless Agent is... Uh, I could hit Abrupt Decay, which just doesn't do anything on this board. So I think it's a waste to just jam the Shardless Agent. Um, I think what I actually want to do is just cast him to Torak. Uh, make him discard two cards at random. Alright, so we'll do uh, three, so this one. And then three, this one. Alright, some Oleana. Alright, two Oleanas are down. And then I'll say go. Alright, Jackie. Okay, we'll go to 16. Go. Alright, untap, and we'll draw a card. Okay, that's a pretty good one, I think. But I'm not sure if I want to play it yet. Because my hand's pretty good, so it might be, might be a bad idea to play that card. I think what I want to do here is just... I guess I'll start by looting with Jace, so we'll see where that takes us. Loot. Alright, so this is, seems like a good card against him. He doesn't have a Wasteland, probably, or he would have likely played it by now. Uh, so this is a, just another threat against him. I think I just actually discard this other Force of Will. Because I don't think there's really anything I intend on forcing. And Force is just generally a pretty weak card against a deck like this. Uh, so we'll discard that, and I'm going to fetch, or yeah, my Jace flips, and I'll fetch down to 15. Get a... Would you like to hem me? Tropical Island. I don't think so yet. I think I just want to, uh, since he has three cards in hand, I guess he could draw, like, he probably can't play more than, like, one card a turn. So I think I'd rather just... Uh, develop my board this turn. Um, so I'm just going to play a Tarmogoyf and a Creeping Tar Pit and say go. And then next turn I can him him um, if I need to. So it looks like there's an instant of sorcery, a land, an artifact, a creature, and a planeswalker. So it's pretty big. I lost count. I lost count too. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Four, five, six. It looks like it's a six, seven. Sweet, go. All right, so we got a a big bruiser of a goyf over here. All right, so untap and draw. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, here, I think. All right, I think that I want to just. Uh, I'm gonna wasteland your mistress factory. And then I'm going to activate Tar Pit, and I'm going to attack for 9. Contagion that. Alright, so Tar Pit oh. down. Lose one from Contagion. Alright, so you go to 19, and then you take 6, and go to 13. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm just going to plus the Jace, and say go. Go. Alright. Draw. Now, let's see, six. Here are three cards. Here, I think I actually want to... Um, I 
guess we'll just... Ugh. I don't think I want to play either of the, any of these cards yet. I think I just want to uh, flashback him to Torak. Okay. All right, so I'll roll for the one that... This is one, and this is six. The one that you keep. You keep this one. Okay. See this card? A smallpox and a him. All right, attack you for six down to seven. And I don't want to play this land in case I get hemmed. Go ahead. Uh, I don't want to lose all my cards, so... All right, untap, draw. All right, so now I can. Let's see. Let's go ahead and cast the shardless agent now. See what we hit. Shardless, we hit a tarmogoyf. I'll concede. Okay. Jace was pretty good. 